I can imagine these countries aren't as bad as they're saying, are they? Lad, he's just got woke up with gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got to Iraq, right? Got to Baghdad. Why? I man? woke up, he learned on the internet how to fly these, and he's been, he's been flying about Afghanistan. <laughs> he's like, do you want to go on them? And I was, I was so tempted, I'm like, no, mate. Yeah, I'll, fuck I'll that. One. There's drugs on the table, you just got to buy what you want. It's like a tuck shop. <sighs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> and we're sitting there like, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And I said, I'm just mooching about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the history of the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> <laughs> and then as I turn back round, he's right in front of me, he grabs me with the balls. Do you think of Brazil, you just think of big batty on a beach. <laughs> yeah, you're just dead horny, just fucking shagging your pillows and that. There's a place in Bogota called the Bronx of Bogota, and I was told, don't go there if you're a, a white guy. So I went down. <laughs> 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 It's Halloween, and I've got a scraggly beard. <laughs> oh, man! Take seven! Seven! How many wives did he have? Six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. If he had manscaped, he could have had seven. <laughs> Henry the Ape's beard was a mess. He didn't have the handyman over at Manscaped, but you can. Our episode's proudly, proudly brought to you today by our wonderful sponsors, Manscaped. They've taken a step up from Balloween to bring your face the cleanest shave it's ever seen. So this season, no need to toil and trouble. Manscaped's all new handyman is the best way to get rid of that stubble. Featuring a compact design and next-gen skin-safe technology, the handyman was designed to give you that smooth finish without the mess of a traditional shave. Get the sweetest treats this Halloween by going to manscaped.com. Use the code word Riru. For 20% off, plus free shipping. Give me a Green Room Podcast. I brought Green Room. Fucking change that. Look at the shoe, lad. Sounds like we're fucking pair of goths. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hot Water Green Room Podcast with me, Tony Cannell. Hey, I'm back. So throat, but I'm back. And we have a very special guest. Uh, a, 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 what can you travel, call it? Travel a travel, extra, a travel extraordinary. Yeah. The like new Michael it? Palin, they call him. The new Michael Palin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Callum yeah. abroad, everyone. Callum abroad. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me Thanks guys. Thanks for coming on, mate. Podcast okay. debut. Yes, yes, mate. My yes. very first podcast. Nice, yeah. mate. Fantastic to have you, mate. I say we've just been speaking off camera, mate. You've got some fucking unbelievable stories, mate. Madness. It's like. <laughs> All the place you've been, there's so many questions we've got, mate. But as I say, it's not going to be like a proper interview. This is obviously. The co- have, you seen, have you ever been to the have you been to the comedy club? No, no. no have you, you've seen no. any of the clips and stuff, Paul? Uh, any, I've seen a few. You've probably yeah. seen yeah. Paul, haven't you? Because he's. Uh, yeah, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen, a few I've seen the boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> famous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should sort the Taliban next time. Right? Get on this cunt. Here, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you want to have war with. Imagine me and you doing a gig to the Taliban. Lad. I would, mate. If the price is right, lads, I'll do anywhere, mate. <laughs> I'll do fucking Pyongyang Chuckle Hut, me, lad. Where the fuck's that? Oh, North Korea. Korea. Is it? Yeah. Have you been there? It's closed at the minute. It's been closed since COVID started. But there's, oh, yeah. there's whispers that it's opening back up as soon as it is. You're I've been what? emailing every other week. When's it opening? <laughs> soon, soon, soon. How <laughs> <laughs> so. decided you start, lad? Like, fucking. Is it just, just, just. Have you always travelled or something? Or? And see, again, like, have you always travelled? Well, not really, no. It's like when COVID happened. Yeah. I was going to my final year of my nursing degree. And they told us to sit in the house. I'm sitting in the house for months and months. And then the people that were making all these rules up are breaking the rules. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm packing a bag and I'm off. Yeah. And that was it. I've not stopped since. That's fucking class, that. And you've documented everywhere you've been, obviously, yeah, on. I will. I mean, there's a lot of there's videos that can't make YouTube and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. other, so I've got a hard drive full of them. But yeah, pretty much, mate. There's a, a few few places I've been, I've not, I've not pulled the camera out, but pretty much, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So your first one, was it a one-way ticket to Egypt? Yes, it was. Uh, I went to a place called Garbage City. <laughs> and he jumped this where all the Oh, Warrington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, guys. It's where all the Coptic Christians live in Egypt. Uh, I went there and I just thought, oh, you can't go there. So I went there, got chased out for my life. Uh, and then I went to I went to the pyramids. Now, bear in mind, it's like basically deserted during COVID time. And the guys took me down to all these bits that are off limits. And you see all the hieroglyphs. And the, mate, it was mad. Ever since then, I was hooked. Yeah, and I've not yeah. stopped since. Don't they have nappies at the pyramids? Nappies? Yeah. Is that a thing? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't fucking don't, come on. Na- Na- the nappies of the pyramids. I heard when you go to the pyramids, nappies fly around them, like the wind and that. Do you mean like like junk, like yeah, yeah, slash? but nap, but specifically nappies, like it's full of nappies there. 
<laughs> I didn't. I didn't see any nappies flying about. There's a, there's a lot, a lot of rubbish yeah, yeah. outside the main gate. That's what people, people think that people think the pyramids are in the desert. Like it's like I was sitting in KFC right outside the pyramids. Like it's right next to the like KFC and all these like, takeaways. Yeah, but cause, it is because the, the images you see in the video always it's so seem like it's a mess, doesn't it? I know it's right next to like KFC and stuff, but out, know, outside the main gate it. is a mess. Is it? Ah, like, it's like oh. Luton's ground. It's like Kenilworth Road, isn't it? <laughs> That's what they call the pyramid there. They call it the Cairo Kenilworth Road. Because it's just in the middle of the city. It's not what Luton's name is, the nappies. <laughs> the nappies, yeah. <laughs> Full Full so, yeah, so, so, so Egypt, and then where did you go after there, then? Uh, I went to... Do you, know what, do you know after that? I'll tell you this, right? Yeah. I went to a holiday destination. I went to Italia in Turkey, right? So I went to Italia, and I'm just chilling out, and I'm thinking, right, where can I go? And one night I decided to go out and like just go and buy some crisps and chocolate and stuff like that. And bear in mind, it's a holiday resort, right? So it's safe as houses. Yeah. And I'm walking up the stairs in the hotel and I walk by and this guy, this Turkish, this old Turkish, about 60. I said something and I turned round and he's just below me, like, because I've been up the stairs a little bit. I turned round and he's going, and he's pointing. I'm going, where the fuck's he pointing at? And I'm like, oh, maybe he's pointing at my tattoos and my legs. So I turned round to show him the tattoos in the back of my leg. And then as I turn back round, he's right in front of me, he grabs me with the balls. And I'm like, I'm like, I jumped back, I was like, oh! I was like, no! And he's like, <laughs> I was like, no! And he's like, I'm like, mate, get yourself to fuck. And he's, and he's like, he went to do it again. And at this point, I'd just started travelling, so I was a bit nervous and that, you know? I fucking grabbed my bags, my chocolate, and run up these stairs away back to the room. Honestly, <laughs> man, that happened in Italia, Turkey. Didn't he say nothing, no? He just sexually no, assaulted you? No, he's just like... And I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So I, I, for the next couple of days, I'm peeking out the door to make sure this this old guy's not there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Honestly, he's just in his face. I'm just. Check like, just a fucking weirdo then. Obviously, is yeah. it aggressive or sexual? Sexual. Yeah. Aye. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna do it to Danny, me. You know, I'm just gonna go to Danny, and then when he goes, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> hey. That's pretty much what it's like. It's a like windless handshake. <laughs> <laughs> So that happened in Italia, Turkey. And that was the start as well. You must have been thinking, fuck, what am I doing here? I was obviously, is this? And then it gets like, weird. This is happening on holiday destination. <laughs> What's going to happen in downtown Mogadishu? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? One thing I, I'd panic off is, like, etiquette. So... Obviously, that's like a, an handshake from a Turkish man. <laughs> well, what what do you do like in Basra and that? Do you know what I mean? How do you accept gifts and that? What's do you, do, you, do you get rules of like, or oh, don't look him in the eye? Yeah, do you, do you have to mean? like like look up cult, different cultures and stuff because. Um, I mean, there's certain places where you you know like just not to be like like are you just covering up and stuff or yeah. not to put any women on cameras and stuff. But in my actual uh, first. Record, but like when I got to, I got to Iraq, right? I got to Baghdad, and <laughs> Why I <not>? woke up. <laughs> I mean, th these are places you see on the news. You you grow up seeing all these places, and you think, right? Well, how bad is it? Let's go and check it out. So I went to Baghdad, say about five months ago, and I woke up in the morning, and I was like, oh, that sounds like gunshots. I was like, tuh, 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 tuh. and I'm like, nah, I can't be back to sleep. Woke back up five minutes later. Tuh, 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 tuh. I'm like, that fucking is. I'm out in the balcony. I've got the videos. And there's a guy shooting at my hotel, and I could hear the, the, the bullets pinging off the hotel. And I'm like, you see all the security, they're all going mental, hiding behind bushes. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? Next minute, the door gets chapped. He's like, oh, uh, Callum, he's like, stay off the balcony. I'm like, I'm like, who's that? And he's like, no problem. I'm like, who the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no. And I was like, is that, is that ISIS? He's like, no problem. I was like, mate, just go to tell me. I was like, <laughs> that's, that's the alarm around here. <laughs> 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 so uh, that, was, that was my first. That was my first morning waking up in Baghdad, and I was like, oh, here we go, I'm going to get done in Jesus. here. Jesus. He wouldn't tell me who it was. So that was it. And then after that, I had to literally, I'm like, right, I need to go out here. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. going to need to go out here. So I just get my camera. Do you know when you said that before, you know, obviously because, just especially now in today's society, everyone's talking about the news being, you know, very one-sided and, and mm. telling us different. You've obviously seen it by hand now in lots of countries. Yeah. I can imagine these countries aren't as bad as they're saying, are they? Well, everybody automatically assumes that we Lad, he's just got more up with gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're fucking mad. Lad, I'm from Norris Green, it happened to me from when I was younger. <laughs> everybody assumes when you go to these countries that as soon as you step off the plane, there's going to be people there with guns wanting to kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like that. Like, I always talk about Pakistan, like Islamabad. Jumped off the plane, I'd just like, oh, come to my bit for tea, come to my wedding. Like, come not, to your wedding? Oh, mate, I've been to so many weddings. I've <laughs> I'll tell you a story, right? So I got to the village, I met a guy, and I went to a village in uh, Azad Kashmir, right? And that's in between Pakistan and India. So, 
There was rumours going about, and there was this, this older guy that was saying, oh, don't tell all the locals, don't trust him. Don't trust this guy, he's a spy. And I'm like, oh, here we go. This was like the first couple of days. I'm like, no, I'm going to stick it out here. After about a week, I was on stage at the village chief's wedding, dancing, they're throwing money over me and all that. that was madness. <laughs> madness. That's but the people, the people across the world are... I like to think the majority of people in this world are just friendly, hard-working people. Yeah, yeah. It's the news. The news spins stuff, and I think, I think sometimes they do it so that it gives them, uh, so that people say, do you know what? I we've got we've got a right to, we've got a right to be there because they're bad people, and it's not, it's not like that. Yeah, I, I think um, I think obviously with the news, it's like it's at creating agendas, isn't it? So then they can mm-hmm. if they can then do stuff there, then it's there's a it's to say, oh look, this is why you know what I mean, Aye. kind of thing. Aye, but I think no, everyone's onto that now. I think a lot more people are starting to. Get onto that now, aren't they? You know what I mean? Definitely. Obviously, with what's going on in Israel, Palestine, and stuff like that, like it's it's very one sided, and that's there's a reason why. Well, I, I was there. I was there a few months ago. I've been everywhere. I was yeah. there a few months ago. My, I was sitting on the balcony in Tel Aviv. This was also my first night there. And a guy came up and he tapped me on the shoulder. I'd never seen this guy before in my life, and he whispered in my ear. He says, "Do you know why we're better than you? Because God gave us the book first. And I was thinking, what the fuck is this guy? I was like, literally my first night there. I'm like, why would why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. So after a few days in Tel Aviv, I went to the, like the West Bank and uh, Ramallah and stuff. And again, the people were very friendly, offering me tea and that. But that was that was my first like interaction with somebody in Tel Aviv. Yeah. Very strange. It's very yeah, it is, isn't it? I don't get all that, mate. It's mad, isn't it? So are they? What do you say? You know, when people get religious over there, what do you say back to them? You well. Say? People, as I travel a lot of Muslim countries, yeah, and I've just oh, when you going to convert, 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 and I always say to them, well, if I'm destined to be a Muslim, surely I've got to feel it in my heart rather yeah. than just do it because people ask me. So I was sitting at the side of the that's road. Good, that's a good answer. That to be fair, isn't it? I was oh, sitting. I at fucking th- switch like that, me. Lad. <laughs> I've I was got whatever you fucking want, mate. <laughs> Where's Mecca? Let me get on my fucking knees now, lad. Like. <laughs> well, you'll you'll, you'll you'll like this one. So I'm I'm, tra- I'm in Afghanistan about a month ago. And I'm travelling up this road, and what I thought was uh, Bedouin people, like just travellers, I seen them sitting at the side of the road, so I stopped the car, we jumped out, and I was like, oh, any tea and that, just... So we, they, they said, yeah, come sit down. So I sat down, and we're chilling, and the next minute somebody says, oh, uh, they're Mujahideen. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And the guy's like, are you Muslim? I says, no. And he's like, I think you should, conv- I think you should convert right now. He, somebody's translating for me, they're like, convert, and I'm like, no, brother. So I gave him the same spiel. Surely, if I have to be a Muslim, I'll feel it in my heart. And he's like, "Nah, I think you should just convert it." Now. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh Fuck. no!" I was like, "I was like, no, brother." And they're just looking at me, and I was like, "Oh Jesus!" Oh. But I mean, it was all right. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, like, I've did, that's like, when you travel these countries, they all want to know, like, are you Muslim? Do you do you do you show them some of your work you've done in these countries just to, to say what, like to, to what you are? You know what I mean? Because obviously, you're saying people don't trust you, and they think. You spy or something like? Do you do you show them like what you're doing? Like you? Well, I crossed the, I crossed the border. I crossed the border from Pakistan into Afghanistan recently, and uh, I went basically it's like a long, narrow like corridor. And there's women getting whipped and kids getting whipped and stuff. And that was one time that I went. I think I've made an arse of this. I, I need to turn back here, but I can't turn back because there's a lot of people behind me. We're in this big corridor. So people getting whipped and stuff, and they're like driving or walking. Walking. And they're like they're up over the Khyber Pass, right? So I'm st- and we're all stuck in this wee thing. They're letting everybody go, and it got to my turn. And like you sitting there, and it was like a wee cage. I'm like, oh, so I'm sitting there waiting, and two Taliban guys come up to me, one with a red headband and one with a white headband on, and they're like, come with, come with me. And we sat in this room, and there was like, say there was like five of us sitting there. Uh, the majority of them had red headbands and some had white. And we're sitting there like, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And I said, I'm just mooching about. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> just pass him by. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, are you in the military? I says no. Is your dad in the military? I said no. He's like journalist because he's like through my bag and he's seen the cameras and that. I says no, no. I was like, I, I, I was told don't don't mention YouTube to them, but a lot of them don't know what YouTube is. Yeah. So I'm just like, no, I make I make videos. I want to show your country and show how beautiful it is. And he's like, okay. So I'm sitting there, and he's like, I'm talking away for five minutes, and I'm just trying to act casual. And I'm like. The headband. So I was like, well, "What's the difference here?" And the looking, he's like, he's pointing to the guys with the red headbands, and he's like, "Boom, <gasps> boom." And I'm like, what the f-? "So somebody's like, uh, basically saying that like, the ones with the red headbands are uh, they're suicide bombers. They've dedicated their life to that. They're going to give up their life 
And I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm like, oh, here we go. God. And then uh, after that, he's like, on the way back, he's like, oh, we'll have tears. Like, you might not be here on the way back. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 oh, that was, that was the one time I've thought, oh, that's like. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what's a dangerous game of that, though. What? If you're spending it by red and white, what if they get mixed up in the wash? <laughs> you have a white headband and then you put that on and you've got to go and fucking blow some. Yeah, what if you're colour blind? <sighs> well, I'd fuck that up, you know. You'd have to have. <laughs> I, my clothes go pink all the time because I don't have to wash. I'd be a suicide bomber. That would be me, gone lad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, it's a dangerous game over there they're playing. They should have black and white. Yeah, no, they, they should have black and red. So that like don't cut, don't Should have done mix. Yeah. <laughs> what don't mix? Um, black, black Rainbow and red flag. Don't. You'd be blown up there, wouldn't you? <laughs> you'll not see that in Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, like obviously when I come back to the UK and you see all the social media and the news and it's about like I don't know, it's like all this thing about like diversity and like all the genders and stuff like that, and you just do not see any of that. Yeah, it's very over there. Uh, Yeah, it's a totally different world that isn't it? Like mm. But do you, do you, when you come back here, do you do you, do you still like? Do you still obviously like living in this country now, or do you, do you, would you would you prefer to travel now for the rest of your life? Before I started traveling, I was like, oh, I need to go to Scotland. Oh, it's a shithole. Yeah, it's a yeah. shithole. But then, see, when you go and you actually see some of these places, you realise the UK. How lucky you've got. The UK is not that bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's the way it was. Like I, I, I just I was like, oh, this is terrible. But once you actually go, the only see, issue here is I think, and I think you're the same with us because we obviously we're up north and we we come from very like council states, mm-hmm. li- like livings basically me and Jamie and, and yeah. obviously, um. Uh, do you, do you, obviously, there's the divide, isn't it, between north and south at the moment in Liverpool? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, not sorry, north the north, and obviously down south. Uh, do you get that in other countries as well? Is that is that similar, or is it just all all together there? Is there like like unity there? I know what you mean. Um, not so much. I don't. No. I'm not really. No. Everywhere hates everywhere. Lad. Yeah, I mean, there is. Funny. Yeah, mate. You can't tell me Islamabad doesn't hate Lahore. No calling them Tories and that. <laughs> <laughs> Death for me, hundred percent, lad. I bet it's some of our comics hate Lahore comics. Do you reckon? Yeah, <laughs> Delhi hates Goa. <laughs> Boo hates another city in Afghanistan. Everywhere they. Fuck you, rivalries as well. Yeah, mate, the Kabul Rovers. That <laughs> mob. <laughs> I like the Millwall of Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rubbed up then, mate. <laughs> So I, you've been South America as well. I'd l- I'd love to do Boca River. That we got done there. That kicks off. Yeah, that would be good. Kicks off though. <laughs> <laughs> I've done uh, I've done Colombia and Brazil. Right, now my, they must right. We're, te- we're speaking our language now. Yeah, now I'm interested. <laughs> what, what were the Colombian treats like? <laughs> Where's <laughs> the best beak? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but I Columbia was good. I I went to I went to Pablo Escobar's grave, went where he was where he got shot on the on the roof. Although the family still maintain that he shot himself. I was not uh, saying, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to the family, and they says that they reckon he shot himself. Are you with the family? Yep. So I went to I was at Pablo's grave, and uh, somebody's like, "Oh, you want to come up to the house and meet <laughs> Roberto?" And I'm, I thought the guy was just a blagger. Do you know what I mean? I was like, "I mean, no worries." Sure enough. Long story short, I ended up up at the house. Uh, Pablo's niece was there and Roberto and stuff were there, and I was talking to them. They were showing me all these safe bits where all the money was and oh, all yeah, madness. Well, the proper mansion, yeah. And it's still riddled with bullet holes. I think the last attempt on Roberto's life was 2015, I think. So even I think how long ago Pablo was shot. So it's still pretty recent. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, it was uh, it's a nice country, beautiful. Uh, Medellin is beautiful, one of the nicest places I've ever been. Yeah. But there is an air of like. After, I mean, it's nice before 5 p.m. I say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it gets a bit moody in the night, yeah. I, I think so. Walking about, walking about at night, it's, it, it does change. Especially Brazil was one that changed. And uh, during the day, I mean, somebody tried to rob my. You think of Brazil, you just think of Big Batty on a beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's yeah. more to Brazil than Big Batty on the yeah. beach. <laughs> <laughs> the years, but yeah. It's a big country, like. <laughs> it's massive. Right? Yeah. <laughs> somebody tried to rob my phone down at Copacabana Beach during the day. I'm walking down the street, sauntering down, I've got my, my, McDo- I had my phone in one hand and I had a McDonald's cup in the next, and I've got my McDonald's and I'm walking down, I've seen these two guys coming towards me and you knew straight away, I was like, they're acting shifty. 
And the next minute, one of them went to die for my phone. I dropped my, my juice, and I'm like a bastard because I'd have a meat flurry in that as well. All over the place. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's looking at me. Nobody, nobody's like, oh, I'll stop then. Like, everybody's just staring, watching as if it's a show. And I'm like, and the guy's like, again, the guy's like the guy in Turkey. He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> everyone's just like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the, 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 I mean, I the favelas in Brazil. So you feel, I actually feel safer in the favelas. So it's like a code, basically. If you're in the favelas, they don't really touch you because you don't want any police or any yeah, any trouble coming yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So it feels more dangerous. So the favelas there. like stacked housing. Yeah, it's like a shanty town, isn't it? Yeah, it's like illegal yeah. illegal houses all built on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. So I actually felt safe there, but when you walk into the favelas, there's like tables and there's like drugs. There's drugs on the table. You just got to buy what you want. It's like a tuck shop. Oh. Fuck me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's tour extensions going to Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rio, 2024. Yeah. So I met one of the gangs in the, the favelas as well, and I was just asking them about life and stuff, and they basically said, hey, there's, there's, there's two ways you can... In Brazil, there's, or in the favelas, there's two roads you can go on. Is it the Capuri, which is more like a, like a dance, like sort of martial arts sort of thing, or else... I know. did Capoeira. Is that I how you see it, yeah? I did Capoeira in year eight. I'd fit right in there, me, lad. You think so? Yeah, it's... So you do that, or you join stole, the, stole join the con- gang? Stole stole contacts, martial so, arts. Oh, so it's either that or the gang? Uh, is that, well, that's what most people say, you either go that road or else you go the, the gang yeah. route. So, Fuck, I'd go that But I mean, there's nice people, it's just like... A lot of people, I say, I stay back from them, but these people are just... They've, 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 picked a, they've picked a path in life, and they just want the same as us, though. They want... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean I've met so many... Like, like anywhere, honestly, I do believe that people take a different path in life, but I think the majority of people in this world just want the same things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like safety, security, and like money, and like just to chill. Do you know, do, 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 you must you must have been fucking shit yourself a few times there, though, just to get out, the, just go out, sort out your comfort zone, and just travel these countries, and you haven't I mean, got to. Felt movie. like you're, like <laughs> f- my life's in danger. Yeah. It's fight or flight time, sort of thing. Bogota, Colombia, is the, the scariest. Like even though it's, like Bogota was worse than Ukraine and stuff like that. Uh, Bogota, so there's a place in Bogota called the Bronx of Bogota, and I was told don't go there if you're a, a white guy. So I went down. So we're going to the class him, you know, he's class. <laughs> so there's a big, there was a big party. Everybody says don't go there, he goes. <laughs> so we heads with Dan chilling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said, you said don't go, lad. He's mitching about it. He is mitching about it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> so I went down and I had permission to go to this certain like hood. And then that. Then Where did you get your permissions from? Uh, just like. How did you get these contacts? How does it just build up? Just Well, I went to meet. Like, I went to meet like a, a drugs gang in Barcelona. After I met them, they. They're like, oh, if you ever go to Colombia, uh, we could get, get in touch. So I was like, mate, let's do it right now. So I flew directly from Barcelona right to Colombia. <laughs> so, that, so that's how I ended up there. So they said, don't go there. Uh, it's, it's dangerous. So this big party's going on and it's all good. And I had permission to go to this place. And then it, as soon as I got there, the guy's like, oh, mate, don't go in there. You've been revoked. You can't go in there. I'm like, right. Another guy took me to a gang house and I walked in and there was four like big black dudes and they were sitting with their missus in this, this house. I'm like, how you doing? Nobody spoke to me. They're just sitting there looking at me. And I'm like, oh for fuck. Died on his ass. Aye, <laughs> pretty much. Aye. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> yep. Cheerio. <laughs> so I'm standing there like a spare prick, and I'm like, right. And then the guys like, I want to show you something. And we went out, and there was this. It was a crocodile and an alligator to him, looking the same at me. And he's in this big like fucking cage thing. And he was, was a crocodile he, alligator. Mm-hmm. And he was explaining to me that it like if if they get the other gang. They don't let the, they don't let it kill them, but they'll they'll like hold their arms in and their legs and let it rip them to shreds. And then he took me. He's like, oh, acid, acid, in this big like, bath thing. And I'm like, oh, I need oh, to get out of here. Fuck. So that night, I ended up walking about Bogota, and I walked under this bridge, and there was guys sitting. They're all like, gringo, gringo. I'm like, oh, here we go. And I've got my phone, my camera, the full shebang on me. And like, up, oh, they all started getting up. They're like, gringo, and I'm like, oh. and then this car pulled up. He's like, get in. And I jumped in the car because I didn't really have a choice. And he, he took me, he took oh, you me. didn't know who the car was? No, I didn't know who it was. <laughs> oh my God. I jumped in and the, the guy took me to his house. Well, it was his house slash studio and his missus was there. I think she must have been like a fashion designer. We're sitting there and she's doing her work and I'm like, I just come busting in the door and the guy's like, you can't be here, brother. Uh, you need to go, I'll get you a taxi. And, uh, you need to go back to your hotel. Do not come here again. I'm like, right, okay. <laughs> that was it. Hell. So that was probably the one time I thought I was going to get my head caved yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was worse than like, like Ukraine and... Somalia. So when did you go to the UK? Uh, that must have been during the war time then. Ah, it was about uh, probably about four months ago. 
How did you get flights there? You can't, all flights are banned. So I went to Romania and then took the last Soviet sleeper train from Romania into Moldova and then took a bus right into Odessa. <laughs> bus from Moldova to New Ukraine, that's... Aye. So what was that like? Is it just desolate now? Or? No, no, it's still lively. I mean, it's better than Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> so I was walking down the streets. During the day, during the day, it's like, not so much sound, because uh, you still hear the, the, the sirens and stuff going off, but at night I've got a video of me sitting in the balcony and next minute the missiles are coming over and... Uh, and then I went up to I went up to Kherson where they blew up the dam. And all the, uh, I managed to blag my, my way onto a, a boat with all the like the news people. Yeah. And we were looking for bodies and stuff. And uh, you see all the dogs. And then uh, it's, it's, it was very that was very sad. But yeah. it's 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 scary at night when you hear that siren going off. It's very scary. Yeah, because it could be off a building, couldn't it? I, I just don't know what's coming next. Fucking hell! Fuck that. Lad. I see myself going. Do you know what? I don't get what I don't get with that that well, that war. And it's it's like it's it's got it's been going on for a while, hasn't it? I just don't mm-hmm. get like. Hey, yeah, it's like just you never seem to hear anything now, do you? From like mainstream news. Well, obviously the is- the Israel Palestine things took over. Yeah. And that yeah, sort of took a back seat, but I mean it's still. It's on the undercard though. Yeah. <laughs> it's still <laughs> Israel Palestine yeah, triple yeah. A fight, mate. Box yeah. office. That I way. spoke to so I spoke to Ukrainians and they reckon that this will go on for at least ten years. Yeah. That's what they think. Yep, ten years. So they don't. They don't. They're not backing down like that. Yeah, it's, it's in their yeah. my mentality. Isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. I also spoke yeah. spoke to Ukrainians, and he says that they reckon that they, they like they're thankful for what the, the other countries are doing to help them, but they reckon that it's not going to be too long before Russia properly oh, okay, gives no. them hell, and they they reckon they'll die because they're all saying basically I'll, I'll, I'll die in Odessa. I don't care. I'll just need to fight. Oh, that's fuck it. that, mate. I, if anyone invades Manchester, mate, I'm yours. I'll put, a, <laughs> lad, I'll put a little fucking skirt on polka dot knickers and go do what you fucking want, lads. Don't hurt me face. <laughs> Don't hurt my would face. you? Yeah. You wouldn't. You, would you die for Liverpool? Yeah, lad? million percent. Oh, you fuck off. Lad. I'd be on the banks of the River Mersey, mate. <laughs> Shut up, mate. I would. No, you wouldn't. Say, be, say if really, I'd be the fucking battering ram. Say if really. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> if really you got, did you use me some fucking bulldoze tanks and that, me, mate? They'd have you as a sacrificial lamb. I'd say if, if Rill... Fucking else from dinner, that. Feed, yeah, the, feed the 10,000. Yeah, if Rill and Liverpool got into a war. Rill and Liverpool yeah, got into a war. <laughs> <laughs> we're, taking our, we're, we're, we're taking our jobs back late. And they, <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool would sacrifice you as a fucking sacrificial pig. You know, yeah, I'd have him as a, as a mark of respect. You went from lamb to a pig real quick, didn't he? <laughs> the cannon fodder. <laughs> <you> go, <laughs> Oh, I'd, I'd be sat, you know, if I would done, if I come with you, yeah, to these countries, mate, I'd be a king over there, wouldn't I? Because big people are like kings, aren't they? And well, in, in some in some countries, the, the bigger you are, it's a sign of wealth. See, because one, one, one time I was in Amsterdam, yeah, no, it's not too exotic like you, but <laughs> I was in Amsterdam, and all the girls in the window were all like, "Want me?" Because they thought I had money. No, because they thought you never had a shag. <laughs> 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 Nah, nah, someone told me, a local said. <laughs> a local said, you're a big guy, you, you've got money. I said, I know. But it's I like the Chinese with gingers. If I go to China, Chinese, mate. Chinese and gingers, don't they get on? Ch- no, they look, I don't, well, I don't know after this part. But <laughs> <laughs> that, that was shit I'd give him. Chinese love gingers. Do they? Oh, really? Yeah. I think so. I reckon so. It's went for I think so too. I hope so. Yeah, because there's no gingers in China. Because you didn't go like a good nick though. You, you must think you're in the military though as well. And you're and you were green. Uh, a lot yeah. of people, like, a lot of the, like when I was walking around uh, Palestine, the, the, like, some people constantly say you in the military, like and stuff. I was like, mate, no, I'm just mooching about. Just mooching about. He's sick. <laughs> <Palestine. laughs> he's, he's gone through like the most like. War zone countries, the yeah, most yeah, like yeah. fucking madness third world countries, by just going, just be chilling about. What's the bucket list place you said? So, um, real well, <laughs> soon, <laughs> not too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, they'll go real. Soon, I will. Well, I've got an interview coming up for I'm banned from America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've never had a parking ticket in my life simply because the travel destinations that I've been to, I think they've seen me as a threat. So I've got a meeting coming up, hopefully if they... Oh, so they see your passport, they go, oh, right, you've been to all I think there's a list places. of 10 countries, and it's like Somalia. It's because it. people are from, from here have been doing licence and that, haven't they? Well, that probably is the, yeah. that is the case. And, so then, and, then, and then fucking being like, shit, this is, this is, not, this is not for us. Can I come back and they're like, no, fuck you. What's she called, that girl? Um, well, so Somalia's on the list, oh, Iraq's on it, Syria's on it, and I've been to these. <laughs> so... They're going to sit down and hopefully I can show them the YouTube videos and say, like, I'm not a terror threat. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to be like, well, there's you with the Taliban. I'm going to be like, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah. But 
It's not a Taliban, that's fucking me, mate, John. <laughs> <laughs> we have tea together. Yeah, hey. just about. <laughs> that's Birmingham. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hopefully do that. If that's the case, and I can go to America and mooch about there, and like, I've got some really good contacts there to make some decent content. I think the number one destination, I think, for all crazy travellers is North Central Island. That's where the tribes are. Uh, so what's oh, that? Yeah. What area is Nobody, that? Nobody's allowed. Uh, nobody's allowed on the island, though. So, but the people say, "Oh, you shouldn't go. You'll give them diseases and stuff." So I don't know how that would play. You, out. Can, you can you can get because because sometimes they send like doctors and that over there, don't they, and to do research on medicine and stuff. Well, I think the last. So guy I think you have to get like a full fucking. Well, the last guy that went on the island, he was trying to. Um, he took his Bible and he was wanting to promote <laughs> Christianity, and they just they just killed him. And that was it. That's how Loch Ness monster was invented. What? D- what? Fucking hell, lad! That's mad, that it. What? So what? That's how lot their sponsor was invented. Don't say that. So you got someone from Scotland, yeah? <laughs> no. So this guy is like, yeah, fucking God's sick. You know, you should get on him. Yeah. And then this guy was like, fuck off, you God lad. Fuck off, mate. We've got this monster lad. And then he goes over and he's like, nah, trust me, I'll get them on board because he's got, he's got like, it's like Christianity back in the day was like Avon. By the way, you know Loch Ness Monster <laughs> is originated in Scotland. Yeah, I know. But listen, Christianity back in the day was like Avon. You had like your big guy, God, and then you had Jesus, yeah. Joseph, Mary. They're, and like, then, they're like general <laughs> managers. And the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, and then it goes down, do you know what I mean? It goes down to like Moses, Noah's Ark. Yeah. All that. And then you got like the people on the floor, like priests and that. That's what do you sell it? Yeah, it's like God, Jesus, Pope, they're, they're the area managers. Yeah. Then it goes to like Noah's Ark, Gate, Angel Gabriel, <laughs> the innkeeper. Yeah. The donkey below them. Do you know what I mean? Just staggered pyramid scheme. That's all yeah. religion is. And this guy, Kings on a makeup department. And this guy, he's working under like Angel Gabriel. And Angel Gabriel's going, yeah, lads, your fucking sales are low here. We need some more fucking Christians, or you're getting fucking sacked. <laughs> you're getting fucked off, lad, to the Hindus. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, fucking, I can't be asked for that, lad. Yeah. Yeah, about all day. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happened, man. So I went, yeah. yeah, I'll get some more sales. I'll get some more fucking old and do it, lad. So he did what I used to do in sales yeah. jobs. I'll just make up. I said, yeah, I've got loads, lad. Just, and just put it on the board. Do you know what I mean? That's what he did. So he, he went across the lock, yeah, in Loch Ness, yeah. right? And he went, oh, lads. Yeah. Um, he went, he came over to this, like, this, this tribe. <laughs> and tribe of and they're like, fucking hell, I've just, I've just got past your monster. Went, what monster? Went, you're not a big monster. You've got. I went, fuck off. There's a big monster in there. Went, yeah, but I got rid of him through Christianity. So you sign up to this Avon and yeah. the Loch Ness won't. <laughs> and the Loch Ness won't bite you. And they went, fucking hell, we better do it then. Like, do you know what I mean? They got like the div of the tribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah just sign there, lad. He went, oh, do you need your parents' permission? He went, nah, nah, you be sign there. Just sign it. <laughs> and that's how. And then they went, oh shit. And he went and warned all the tribe yeah. about the Loch Ness monster. And then. Like, th- and then the myth just went like, oh, Loch Ness monster lives in here. Don't wake him up in that. That's Christianity. Fact. <laughs> Callum's head fell off. I know. I'm, 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 I'm like, you could just have said Christianity's a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how they teach That's it. Jamie's long way to go round mate. Yeah, yeah. That's how they get it, mate. Trust me. Can you imagine showing one of these like uncontacted tribes like one of the big Chinese drone shows? <laughs> They'd freak out. Well, because when That's when it. like um, I think I don't know if it's planes or something went past. Don't you like fire arrows? Fire arrows and plane like that. It just goes. Ooh, you fucking <laughs> daft cunts. <laughs> Thinking he can reach it like that. <laughs> you do it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> you daft cunts. <laughs> fucking play, lad. What would you drop in? What would you drop into it? To a, send an egg west. Tribe. To send an egg gone. No, just to like give them an insight of the world. No, want this to be better. Drop in something. Just, they all just look at it and go, what the fuck's that? A right. Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube. Snooker table. A snooker table. Snooker table, Rubik's Cube. What item would you send them, Danny? An iPad with these videos on. That would send their head west. Yeah, it would, yeah. A mirror. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. How did we? That's what I don't get about the human mind, man. How did we go? I need a mirror to do my hair. How did we? How did we get sand, sea grains of sand, to make mirrors out of them? Do you know what I mean? Well, that's fucking too much. This mate. That's, yeah, just, that's just what. I, that's how glass was invented, wasn't it? Yeah. Sand. Is it? 
Think so. like this, is, this is 4 a.m. kitchen <laughs> 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 I've been on the ABK too long. I'd imagine you and fucking Cullum being out all these gangs. <laughs> Break a band boys and I'll just Charlie, don't you, Ned? <laughs> Where's the pyramids came from? I've, I've heard, though, good sources of you, mates who've been there, who've travelled there, and I've said, like, fucking, there's the gear over there is, like, they're cheap, obviously, because that's where it's from. Mm-hmm. And it's meant to be fucking just, like, phew, next level. Mm-hmm. It's all the shit that gets over here. It's being fucking yeah. danced on, isn't I, it? I asked about that in Colombia. Did you? And, and stop it on up an arse. Yeah, and I think it was, I can't remember if it was, what to it, was it $18 for a gram of like, whatever, oh, cool. of pink, That's the stuff though, yeah. Pink, of the pink, pink stuff, cocaine, yeah. and uh, that was in Colombia. But I think you could get it cheaper. But you see, with the stuff that you, like, you get over here, you know, it's been fucking, it's just danced on, isn't it? Like, bashed with loads of fucking all, all kinds. Yeah. But all the stuff you get over there, like, if you had, like, a fucking line over there, I think you need that. You don't need one for all night. You know what I mean? You'd be like, "Woo!" Oh yeah, <laughs> after one with you, power, mate. Yeah, you're just dead horny, just fucking shagging your pillows and that. Well, <laughs> 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 I've just been dancing loads. <laughs> Why are you shagging pillows? Like? <laughs> I just fucking can't get a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Tony, Mister Tony, we can show you a good time. No, no, no. I'm not rich. I'm just fat. <laughs> Can you Google? Did you get any any uh, any prostitutes in that over near the countries, or was it really not in there? Obviously, the. Um, I mean, you do see them, like, and they're quite prevalent in Brazil and Colombia and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking that Colombia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, there is, there's certainly, there, 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 I think in every country. Yeah, literally yeah. every country that I've been. World's to. oldest profession. It is, isn't it? Mm. Sex worker. What about farmer though? I think farmer came before the prosy. Imagine being a prosy farmer. No, <laughs> oh, you're milking it in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You're milking it in, lad. <laughs> Fucking coins and A's. Oh, God, I'm just going over Mary's for a milk and a shag. Come on, lad. Hey, do you want to be good if you went to Russia? Well, I'm looking into going to Russia because I'd yeah. like to go. Obviously, I've just been to Ukraine. I've got the Ukraine stamp on the passport. Yeah. Could get a little bit, a little bit issues in the airport. I mean, I've had quite a lot of issues in some airports. I, what could you've been to the rivals? So they well, decided to say the time when I fucking when I come back from um, Ibiza and the fella and you know what you know the uh, the passport things where you put them in the machines now. Mm. You have to put the machines and you stand there and never fucking work and then it's just this big red cross and you go and see the people in the boxes. So the side the fella he just opened my passport, looked at my picture, looked at me and went, "This shit." <laughs> and I went, <laughs> "Excuse me," and he went. Shit. I went, what the passport? He went, shit. I think you meant my face. <laughs> or you know, like, it didn't look like me or something. We just said, this, your face is shit, fuck off. Fucking rude, man. Well, I was, I got detained in Tel Aviv airport. Took into a room, detained for eight hours. Went detained for eight hours? Every single YouTube video that went through, every one of them. Why are you going to, why are you going to all these Muslim countries? I says, I'm just m- like, mooching about. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, you're Muslim? I says, no. I just like, need to get uh, merch, you know. He says, top saying just mooching about, doesn't he? <laughs> he says, I think, um, I think it's very strange you're going to uh, mosques and you're not a Muslim. I says, well, I'm going to go to the synagogue if you let me out here, but I'm not, like, do you know what I mean, Jewish yeah. or whatever. Mm, do you speak Arabic? I says, no. He says, I don't believe you. He's saying all this, and then he started going through my videos, and I forgot that I went to a Palestinian refugee camp oh. in Jordan. And he's like, who's this? And the guy's, on, on, on one of the videos, the guy's talking about like, M16 guns and that, and I'm like, oh... He's like, who's this? I said, I don't know. I just met him in a shop and <laughs> asked him if I could go to his, like, bit. And he's like, and he wasn't buying it. And I sat there for hours and then he took me back in for more questioning. After eight hours, they eventually let me go. But that, and then I got to Gatwick Airport. Here's one for you. I'm standing in the queue to go to Islamabad. And there's two guys standing with blue suits on. And they're letting everybody, everybody's going through, everybody's going through. And I got there, Callum. So he's and he's like, Step aside. Oh, you don't hear that? Yeah. No, I'm like, here we go. And he's like, my colleague's seen all your TikTok videos. Uh, and I was like, right. And he's like, oh, you go to some crazy places. Uh, so you're going to Islamabad. You must know you're the only white guy in town when you go here. And I'm like, aye. And he's like, so you're just, who are you? You're just YouTube. Is that all you do? You're not working for anybody? No. Okay, on you go. I sat down. Ten minutes later, he came over. He's like, come with us into the room. And he's like, we're just thinking. He's like, you must get a lot of footage. I said, I do. He says, even footage that you don't use, that you delete off your videos. He said, you know that footage would be very useful to us? And I'm oh. like, and I'm like, right. And he's like, 
would you be interested in keeping in touch with us uh, weekly on your travels? And I was like, no. He was like, oh, I think you would. I was like, no. And they were starting to put the pressure on. And, oh, Lord. And then I get very, I get, if there's more to that, I get very tense. And I'm like, you don't expect that at Gatwick Airport. They're, they're English? Mm-hmm. Oh, my oh, God, God. But one of them... One of them looked as if he was like sort of Pakistani descent, so I'm thinking to myself, imagine I did say, aye, let's do it, boys, and then he phones through his lab, yeah, I've yeah, got a spy here, boys. Grassy, so yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, nah. Can't sell your soul to the devil, mate. Aye. That, that sounds that. like a good plot to a series, though, doesn't it? Mate, they've got to make a film about it, mate. Yeah. Called <laughs> Mooching About. Mooching, mooching About. about yeah. <laughs> I was just imagine you need to get me you know, just mooching about. That's Every time now I'm going to get into trouble, that's what I want to say, you know. <laughs> just, mooching just mooching about. about. <laughs> Maybe next door neighbours sniffing in the fucking undies. <laughs> What are you doing, Tony? Get out of my garden! Sorry, just mooching about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the history of the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, class that, you know. That's sick, that. It's fucking class. Would mate. you turn? Oh. No, come on, lad, you know me. I'm big on loyalty, mate. It's the only good thing I've got about me. Yeah. The only good thing I pride myself on is loyalty, mate. Mm-hmm. I would never turn me. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Imagine, imagine. Both the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Imagine, so imagine they did put pressure on something. They did say yes, and then they get caught abroad or something doing some. Do you know what? I mean, lads, they probably just washed their hands. You've, yeah, you've yeah, done yeah. the right thing there because, like, and like in that situation, getting pressure like that and ruined by two suits, lads. Like a lot of people would fold. But if you can stay true to who you are, mm-hmm. you you will be actually pretty much safe, won't it? <laughs> you will, won't it? Stay true to who you are. All right, live, laugh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so like like a, nah, a, but if you think about getting it, getting a finger up your ass and getting battered off another one, I'm staying true to myself. Nah, but then off, I'm like. saying if he just says what he's actually doing, skirt so it's both mm-hmm. sides, then mm-hmm. he's gonna be all right, isn't he? Because he's staying true to who he is. Skirt, polka dot knickers, do what you want. You're just a little brass, you just want to get f- <laughs> fumbled with. I'm a little slut, mate. <laughs> Split me over like a coconut, mate. Oh. Fucking oh. hog roast me, lad. I don't give a fuck, mate. <laughs> just don't hit my face. <laughs> just don't hit what's my what's face. What's it, what's it, what, have you, have you got an relationship or anything like that? Aye, aye, aye. Yeah? Aye. But I mean, my family is like... Of course, it might be hard, that, you know, with like, family relationships and stuff. Most people are... Even, like, everybody, like, initially, like, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy for going there. But the more it's went on, the more they look and go, do you know what, I like, you're breaking down barriers, they're, yeah, they're yeah. seeing it like, it's like telling your mum, oh, I'm going to Afghanistan, telling your mum or your missus or anybody, oh, I'm going to Afghanistan, I'm going to Syria, I'm going to Iraq, yeah, like, and they're like, oh, hold on a minute here, yeah. but the more they the more they actually watch the videos, they say, do you know what, I kind of like, we're not, we're sort of not so much worried now, like, yeah, do you know what I mean, yeah. like, they see that the majority of people in the world are just, just nice people, just mm-hmm. fun. It's like, like, like I say, the Taliban are literally offering you tea and, one of the Taliban guys like, oh, he had my WhatsApp and that, we'll go for something to eat. Yeah. And I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's do they find, do they resent it a bit, say you go for a week away with your missus, and they go, oh, I've put this nice hotel in, in Paris, or whatever, as a surprise for you. Do they like, fuck, this is nothing for them, though. <laughs> oh, I, get, I, do, I do get restless, see, if I go somewhere and I'm lying at a pool or something, I get very restless. And I'm like, yeah. oh, it's itching to to mooch about and go somewhere and like because I, yes. I, I get bored so, so I drop my but I honestly believe it's became <laughs> sort of I can see it because like I can see why people see it as an addiction yeah. see that getting addicted to going to these places that you're not supposed to go to and like the adrenaline the rush and stuff like seriously I can see how that would become that's like a drug in itself isn't it mm-hmm. yeah. I, 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 just, I just couldn't do it mate I, I fucking I just couldn't travel on my own mate fuck that nah fuck that mate I, I just get into trouble I'd, I go to Thailand end up fucking buying drugs off someone getting nicked 10 years in jail, everyone's like, oh, Tony's been gone for ages, wonder where he is. Didn't someone, didn't, um, someone get put in prison for eight months? Because he got dropped in it by a fucking, by a contact. Oh, my, my, my mate Miles, actually, I'm going travelling with Miles soon. He's mad as a brush as well. Is he? Oh, so he's back he, out now. I was supposed to go to uh, Afghanistan with him. He went via Dubai and I went via Pakistan. And I texted him, I was like, where are you? He's like, oh, I've just got my visa, I'm in Dubai, just ready to hit Afghanistan. I say, says, okay, I'll get mine in Islamabad and then I'll meet you in Afghanistan. Text him two days later, nothing. A couple of days later, nothing. <sighs> a week later, a British man detained by the Taliban oh, and he was there. No, he was there for eight months um, and one of the guys that he went with um, said that, said to the Taliban when he was getting interrogated, oh, I think Miles could be a spy. Oh, and that was that. They, they, let the, they let the other boys go after a few weeks and Miles was held for eight months. That's bad. He let the other boy go because he grasped. Well, oh. like... I mean, he's obviously just said, oh, he could best by maybe get the heat off of him. Yeah, yeah. But Miles was kept for eight months. You'd fucking do that to me, you. 
<laughs> yeah, but he was actually getting young. Nah, not me, mate. He, he was he was speaking to some guy in the airport. Though. I don't know what it was, but yeah. it could be him. <laughs> hey, you need to just, just pull his pants down. I bet you he's got little polka dot knickers on. <laughs> Have your way with him. <laughs> me just like that off. What's like? I wonder what what's the consequences if they killed him. Do, like, do they not kill him because they're like, we'll have the fucking English bombing us again and all that? Is that what think, the theory is, do you think? So I've They'd be murdered that if they killed someone. So I've, British, I've, British I've, British the like. Taliban have tried to show the world that they're, that they're a proper government. Some countries do recognise them as a... And to be honest with you, whether Britain or anybody else likes it or not, the Taliban are the government. Yeah, yeah. Right? So America and Britain's left, they are the government. Now the thing is, the Taliban are trying to show people that they're, 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 they're welcoming and friendly and get tourists and stuff. I've spoke to young Taliban members and they've told me that they, they don't agree with everything that the Taliban do. like, does. Yeah. Um, like like women not getting educated and a lot of them want their, their, their wives or their, their kids to go to school. Yeah. They just can't speak out about it. Um, so they're just trying to wait for change. It's going to take a while. Kind Aye, of thing. They're, they're scared to speak out about it. And the fact that most young Taliban told me that they only joined because they got $100 a month. Oh, no. That's what they get, $100 a month. That's more than we get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a less strict regime than the man that the yeah, guy's like. He keeps saying that we've got him hostage. Now. He's trying to get rid of him. He's just tied himself in the corner. You've had me for eight months. Oh, we haven't fuck off. <laughs> so yeah, as a, a lot of people just assume that every every Taliban member is like. Gonna just and, shoot you. Aye, it? and yeah, it's yeah. not it's not like that at all. Because I've, I've, Afghanistan's meant to be like fucking really nice, isn't it? Like the, like oh, the country, that's beautiful, isn't it? As it's really just full of mountains. And stuff, yeah, isn't I went it? to a place called like Bandamir and stuff, and the, the water's like so blue it's, like, it's yeah. beautiful as it really is a beautiful country just obviously a lot of shit going on in the last are you going to uh, did you say you've been to or are you going to um, Bin Laden's cave is it I won't well, be taking a trip soon to the Tora Bora Mountains uh, where Bin Laden was hiding in the caves I've been to where uh, where they killed Bin Laden or supposedly yeah. killed Bin Laden oh, I travelled to I travelled to Abtabad and I went to I went to the compound mm-hmm. fuck me what's it like uh, they, they, they destroyed it, but it's still there's still there's still like the the base and stuff there and the outer wall. And I spoke to the locals and they're like, "No, we didn't know." And I'm like, "Yeah, did you really? <laughs> you know?" But it's are they saying that's what you're saying? They they don't they, they're like, "No, we didn't know." Do they have a shrine for him or anything? Or there like? is there's, there, there there is some places and there is some there is some people in Pakistan and Abbottabad that have got shrines and pictures of Bin Laden in their house and I've seen it. <sighs> Fuck, that's mad, that. Yeah. Now the thing is, there's it's like it's like so back in the back in the early two thousands, Bin Laden obviously fled to Pakistan or supposedly fled, yeah. and I think there's this thing in the, in the culture that if he's, if someone's like seeking refuge, then they've got to take them in and help them yeah. and stuff. But it's I spoke I spoke to so many Pakistanis and it's like a fifty fifty. No, he wasn't even here, or no, he was like. Yeah. So it's this. She so wouldn't know, yeah. Yeah, even the locals are like, no, we didn't know he was there. That happened in Hyde when Dale Cregan did that <laughs> fucking shooting. We went to an house in Hyde. Because Hyde culture is you got to welcome him in. That's why he hide out. Head out. Do you want to kill them police officers? Oh, yeah, yeah the, the woman, yeah. didn't he kill the woman, didn't he? Yeah, but he held a guy hostage in his house. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Similar to Bin Laden, mate. Had that culture is just seeps through human. Well, Afghanistan, is that culture as well because it's been like mm-hmm. it's been like for American soldiers and film out, isn't it? Where they, where they, yeah, the that's didn't, right. They sucked them in, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Protect them from the Taliban. Yeah, I think is that was, like, that's, heavy, that's, that's, a, that's a true story. Heavy film, man, mm-hmm. isn't it? Well, which one's that? So it's do the snipers or something in there, and it's fucking. I know when you're talking, I can't remember the name, yeah, but that's yeah. true. That, that true is story, the, that, isn't it? That's a, the sort of the, the end thing there. That so this, this, the village in Afghanistan took the injured fucking US soldiers in. And it was one one US soldier in and protect them from like the Taliban because that's their like kind of thing like for hell it's a human being got to help them, I, I spoke to the Taliban and asked them I said what because one of the first questions they asked you are you in the military yeah or is your dad in the military yeah and I asked them I said what would happen what would happen if an ex-soldier wanted to come to Afghanistan find peace and do you know what I mean see yeah. Afghanistan for its beauty rather than all the all, all the, the chaos and they said no problem yeah how true that is I don't know but they all said no problem we don't we don't care just yeah. don't Come like, as a military because after all that happened, the war over there when they, when they left, just Taliban just took back over again, didn't it? Just like who that. won just that like war? That, or was it, it a wasn't, draw? It wasn't. It wasn't. When was it? Was it well, America. America's main goal was to, I would say, disrupt like the, the Taliban, Al Qaeda, disrupt all these people and sort of create a safe haven and uh, like 
education and all the rest of it. And to an extent, they did. Of course, they, yeah. did, they did disrupt it all. But ultimately, you look at it and you go, they fled with a tail between their legs. Oh, after Taliban. like 15 years, so then, as soon as like, Britain and the, U- and the US just moved out, the Taliban just went nice on, just took a back over here. The Taliban gave them a few, literally told them, like, well, you've got a couple of days, do what you want to do, take all your stuff, do whatever. And that's the other thing. When you drive about Afghanistan, see the amount of Humvees and American gear. Most checkpoints are all kitted out with all the American stuff. All the boots, the clawbar, the guns. They left so much. Did billions they? and billions of pounds. Honestly, the amount of Humvees that are driving about Ameri- uh, Afghanistan. Fucking hell. just want me to balance Yeah, they just get out of here. You know? they, look, they look like a proper outfit, a proper army now. Do they, yeah? Aye, it's everywhere. Because when you see them on the films and that, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, just like, just ma- like just normal clothes, isn't it? And then you've got like bandanas. Aye, there's some, there's some like that, but the majority of people are all, they're all oh, kitted, just all geared up. kitted out to the nines now. The thousands and thousands of guns they left and literally like thousands That's of it's, Humvees. It's, one, it's probably one of the hardest countries to ever, to ever take over because of the mountains and stuff and because they know it so well because of the mm-hmm. high points, you know what I mean? Mm. So Aye. they've always got an advantage. They left, all the, they left a lot of helicopters as well because I had a guy reach out to me. He's like, uh, he's like, are you coming to Afghanistan? Um, do you want to fly one of the helicopters? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I was reaching about. <laughs> I, and he says, um, it's that like, uh, no, a guy that he knows. He came into possession of these. I don't know if it was like the Black Hawks or the Chinooks, whatever it was. He came into, he came into these helicopters. He's like, oh, he's crashed three already, right? And <laughs> he's like, but he learned. Oh, but he, he learned. But, but, but he, can, he learned on the internet how to fly these, and he's been he's been flying about Afghanistan. <laughs> he's like, do you want to go on them? And I was I was so tempted, but no, mate. Yeah, I'll, fuck I'll pack that. This one. Imagine all the situations you put yourself in, and then that's the way he fucking goes. <laughs> Aye. Have you ever proper put your foot in it, like well, not expect not accepting a gift or? Shake hands when he shouldn't be, and uh, let me think. That's I'd have fucking. F- Seems like you're well liked, though, doesn't it? I, d- I think I'm lucky, and I yeah. do think that I'm well received. Yeah. The places that I go, so I don't think there's been any time where I've proper put my foot in it. Yeah, yeah. Where I've thought, right, I'm, I'm about to. Oh. I've made an arse or anything like that. No, I mean, I guess most of these countries, people are friendly and welcome. Have you had some good parties then over there with people, or is it obviously well? Is the well. Spends where, but like, did you party in Colombia or, or Brazil or anything like that? Or, uh, I mean, I've been uh, the main parties in Lahore and Pakistan. Was he, yeah? There's, uh, there's been some, uh, there's, a, there's a big underground party scene in Lahore. Everybody thinks Pakistan is like, and it is, it's a strict Muslim country, but yeah. there's this underground scene, and I'm pretty sure Pakistanis won't mind me saying that because they all know about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots of parties. Lahore's With booze as well, well though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, fuck. Fuck. you get dial booze, Pakistan. So, yeah. I shouldn't really be saying that, but I. You can <laughs> I need to get there, me. You can what? Dial a booze. Dial a booze? Yes. Yeah, well, so like delivery yeah, for yeah, booze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye. Let's say that. 20 minutes. It's quicker than Glasgow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. I thought, I thought it was like proper outlawed there and stuff. It is. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, but I, I, it's a dry country. It's like, yeah, it's illegal. Yeah. Oh. But it is, it's like, it's like anywhere. If you want something, you'll get it. But yeah, yeah. there's dial a booze there. Would, have you been Saudi? Not yet. Not yet. Is it on New York list? I, 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 I think it's a bit popular now because. Have you seen that thing they're building? What? The line thing. Oh, I've seen that and it's like. F- fucking you basically, man. you would never have to leave and it's just yeah. like. It's, it's just one, oh. it's just like a corridor, but like, I, I can't even explain it. It's like a big fucking corridor. It's like a housing, it's like a housing complex inside this big glass, like, straight line and it's like. Just a straight got, line from my house. But everything's in it, but it's like that big. But like, a that big like a towel. Yeah, like a towel. Yeah, like a towel, like. Like a door. barber's. What? what? <laughs> like shops, like barbers and. No, like it's like a. Oh, how can I explain it? It's like miles long. It's like a mile, miles long, and it's got houses, shopping centres, trees, pools. It's got everything in this. But place. it's like, you don't it's, need like to leave. it's just like very narrow. It's just like a mm-hmm. just a line. But it's all self like efficient and that is. Mm-hmm. It's got like all yeah. solar and all that. Do you know what I mean? Instead of like building, say a ta- building city, where, yeah. where you know what a city's built like. This is just all in one line and across the, like a tube and but, desert. But it's yeah, got, it's got a roof. Yeah, it's an like open roof, I think, innit? Oh, oh, yeah. Open oh. air? I think they've started building it. They have, haven't they? Mm-hmm. That's in Saudi. Have a look, lad, it's fucking mad. I think... And you'll never have to leave there, ever. Weren't they going to put a city on a boat? Was they? I don't know. <laughs> what? That's how I thought things would go. <laughs> a city on a boat? <laughs> yeah, like a massive, big boat. But it has, like, a barber's, a bookies. Everything you need. <laughs> a bookies. A bookies! Beckford! <laughs> 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 Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, do you know Because like, of the way climate change is going and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We go, f- right, we foot land up, the seas level's rising, let's get big boats <laughs> and make them into cities. I put Beth Reds on them. 
Well, not a lot, a lot of Brooks as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's like your high street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think... on a boat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. You could, that could be worked, 100%. Yeah, we'll draw it out later. Uh, if Saudis can build a tube, <laughs> if the Saudis can build a tube in a desert, I, I can live on a boat. Yeah, you can live on a boat. Yeah. But, but why do you need a bear, Fred? To have a bet. <laughs> <Just, laughs> why do you think, lad? <laughs> and what a fucking pizza king as well, a pizza place. Yeah, everything. Everything's catered for. It's all on a boat. Is this for everybody or just you? No, a city. <laughs> a city on a, a boat. A city on a boat. That's got to be doable. It's got to be a big boat. Massive oh, boat. Oh, by the way, there's things called cruises with lots yeah. of things on. Yeah, that's what I mean. But like a They've city. got casinos. I know, but like a city on a boat. Like you live there, you don't just go for a week. Like well, a if, if, if everybody done that, what are you betting on then? Dolphin <laughs> racing. <laughs> Dolphin <laughs> racing. <laughs> we can bet on anything us, mate. You'll yeah. find a way. <laughs> bet borrow steel. Is he a city on? Is he is he boat cities? I'll Google now. I, I googled that line and it's thirty four kilometers long. So let's say it's a Manchester. Man, no, no, oh wait, no, that's the area. That's right. fucking long. I'd love to live on a boat, mate. But like, it feels like land. Do you know what I mean? That's what we're pretty much on now. That's what that's what the cruises is now. Huh? Yeah, cruises as well. I, I I don't know. I don't mean a cruise. I don't mean. You <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate. I mean you, I mean you live. Let's on get Gordon on a boat. Yeah, yeah. Love we'll that. Sort. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Put God on a dinghy, mate. It's still be fucking upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it hell. Are you still living in Scotland then? Yes, mate, still there, but... Yeah. Where about in Scotland, are you? Just outside Glasgow. Oh, outside Glasgow, Glasgow yeah. mate, aye, the, the nice. land where time forgot. I'll you know? there next week, mate. Yeah, you're there next week, aren't you? Are you? Yeah, mum. You'll have to go down and see his show. Yeah, come down. He's on tour at the moment. Oh, you better watch oh, this. That's, that's where the dogs lick you and the wings bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow. <laughs> That's on the opening. But to be it? to be fair, obviously I'm here in Liverpool. Everybody's like, "Oh, mate, you're you're going to need air support and that to go there, right?" You need air support. <laughs> but it's uh, it's not like what people made it out to be. But it's not me. I drove I, about and it's, it's it's just like Glasgow. Would you do? Would you do the video here? I started and I'm just and like, I'm stuff. like, I'm not. There's not really much like oh. going on here. People made it out as if it was like. Uh, oh. On the way home last week from last record, I was walking on the way home. There's a guy outside the pub. Oh, Jamie, I can. Will you come with the pub for me? Because I can't get served. I was like, oh, I've got to get my chain, mate. Sorry. I, went, oh, I love the pub, lad. Come on, I'm getting on it or what? I went, and I, I honestly, I've just got to get the chain, mate. I was trying to be polite, but fucking get away from me a minute. Um, and he's like, come on, lad, just have a photo. Then have a photo. I went, yeah, Sal, mate. So having this photo, and his mate, some lad's taking it. This woman walks past with her kids, a five-year-old kid, walks in front of the shop, and he went, get back, you cunt. Did he? He was like that to a five year old went, lad, fuck me, mate. Yeah. So he's like, come on, lad. I was like, fucking have this photo and fuck off. So I, as a photo, he just gets. I hate out. it when you like that, yeah, but then the person's taking a photo, like. Oh, and all that's what he's like, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's on me. Like, anyway, having a photo with him, whips his cock out, just windmills it, and goes, what about that then, lad? Why are the five year old kids there? Well, they're about <laughs> 10 yards away. Oh, fuck. So yeah, Liverpool is a shit hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, I arrived, when was it? A few days ago. But anyway, it was 11 o'clock the other night. I decided to go a drive. I needed something to drink. Went to a shop that was next to a boozer. The guy's like, you're that Scottish cunt. Call my broad not. Come on. He's like, and he's over me. And he's like, here, bro, take this. I'm like, what the fuck's that? And it was a bag of Coke. And I'm like, I was like, I was like what, do you, what do you want me to do with that? I was, he's like, I was like, is that sugar? And he's like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, mate, when I go to Pakistan, I got offered tea and that for hospitality. Yeah. You get to Liverpool, they're offering you yeah. bags of gold. <laughs> but you can't, hospitality, mate. But <laughs> you can't turn it down. It's very against yeah. their culture. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't you can't turn it down. You can't turn it down in key in Liverpool, mate. Yeah. But it's a nice city. It is genuinely a nice city. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I th- I th- obviously, I think, it, especially like Glasgow, stuff like Manchester, part of Manchester, mate, are fucking, you know, it's the same as Liverpool. Mm-hmm. I think up north has been neglected a lot over the years, but I think now, mate, I think. All that, all right. that kinds of areas are, are well better. As I say, you mean Liverpool's fucking sad, no? Right. Definitely, yeah. people, people have been great as well. Yeah, people are sad, aren't they? Right, yeah. and on that lovely little note, it's Liverpool been a pleasure. Sounds, been fucking very fast. Call that a pod. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming down, mate. Nice, right. mate. What a debut appearance, what by the way. What a fucking podcast, absolutely. Some natural. boss stories, mate. Thank you. Um, where thank can you people mate. find you, mate, on YouTube? And uh, Callum Abroad on YouTube and again Twitter, Callum Abroad. Yeah. yeah, go and give him a follow. Unreal videos, some of the best videos. Tram- some more videos coming up soon, aren't they? Some nice yes, places mate, to come there's to. There's going to be some interesting places. I'm going to yeah. spend time with the, the traveller community and I'm going to hopefully get to America and Mexico, Sinaloa, oh, and yes. back to Afghanistan. 
and back on air hopefully one day yes yes me. for round yes. two yeah. um, as ever check us out on Patreon you get early access to wonderful episodes like this and a bonus episode each week and uh, any tour announcements I'm doing an extension in the spring and patrons will hear about it first yes I have a monthly residence show in Hot Water it's the last Tuesday of every month so check that out on hotwatercomedy.co.uk and come down and see some uh, live comedy and get Danny on RuneScape thank you bye cheers mate Boss that yes. mate, thank you. Cause if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be Thinking maybe you'll come back into the place that we'll meet And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street Cause, Cause what? I'm not moving I'm not moving